in any moment we're actually informed by two different minds. And you see, what we really want to know is whether your actions in life are based on creating what you'd love, or is it focus, are your actions focused on avoiding something coming true? Are you placing the power on what you desire to create or resolving a negative belief? See, what we're most afraid of occupies a lot of our attention. Maybe that's public humiliation, rejection, not belonging, not measuring up, not being good enough, not leaving a legacy, not being powerful, not being happy, not being positive, see, not being right, needing to fix ourselves. So we're informed by these two minds. And and most of the, the time, people are actually focused on their unconscious wound and their unconscious strategy and taking action to avoid that being true. See, resistance is actually created by you. When you have a goal over here that's of your higher mind, of your superconscious, and you feel that you resist it, that resistance is created by you. It's created by your unconscious, and it's there to protect a smaller version of you. So if you feel the action of, you feel that there's an action and you feel the feeling of resistance, you feel that a part of you is resisting it. So instead of going to the gym or, or asking that person uh, out on a date or starting that business or putting on that webinar or writing the book, if instead you take a different action and it's because of a feeling, well, that feeling is actually placed there by your unconscious. It's actually there to stop you doing something that threatens its way of being, you see. Our unconscious mind is controlling what's available for us, and most of us are focused on that. Most of us are focused on uh, avoiding something coming true, so avoiding something bad happening, avoiding it being different. In life, we have these two minds that are informing our decisions, and we always take the most positive feeling. We always, now you might think it's not the most positive feeling, but frustration or self-sabotage, this is actually the most positive feeling in that moment. I know that sounds a bit ridiculous, but it actually is. See, feeling frustrated is a better feeling than hopeless. Feeling frustrated is a better feeling than risking failure. And so whenever you're interacting with yourself or others, realize that as we're navigating through life, we're informed by these, these two minds, and we have a navigation system of what action should we take, and, and that action is based on which mind we're, we're focusing on. And so this system works by noticing what is the best available feeling, and then moving towards that. No exceptions ever. If there is a, a feeling of doing nothing, sometimes doing nothing is the best feeling, you know, that, that's what it is. And, and as a consequence of, of this, Many people get frustrated with themselves instead of realizing that, uh, you, you know, you can update this, you can change it. There's, there's no exceptions ever to this rule that you can update it. See, there's an interesting idea that we all have free will. The challenge with that is free will is actually programmed automatically. So we do have free will. We have the free will to change it. Yet most of us don't live with our free will. I, I, I wrote a video, uh, recorded a video, and the video was the law of attraction sucks. And the reason why I had that video was because the law of attraction does suck. You just attract what you are. But what you are isn't created by you between ages zero and seven you know, you're basically living in a hypnotic state without a conscious mind. And so, yes, you do have free will. However, free will is programmed automatically. And so most people are just living in this automatic programming. We have these two minds. One mind is focused uh, on a wound and avoiding that wound being true. The other is focused on what we would love to create. And most of us are programmed to focus on what we don't want to see true and take an action to avoid it. We're living out that automatic programming. Most of us, day in, day out, just keep on staying in that program. You see, it actually takes will. It actually takes you noticing your actions, noticing how you are being, noticing how your life is, and taking back your power and taking your will and refocusing on how you want it to be teaching your unconscious how you want it to be, and applying that power of creativity. So remember this, you're always, always, always being informed by two minds. Always. Wherever you place the power is what creates. 
any resistance is just one aspect of your mind trying to stay and keep it the same without trying to create change. There's nothing wrong with this system. The, the ego is not the enemy. The unconscious is not the enemy. Fear is not the enemy. This is just how it is. It is just how it is. When you notice it, use your will, take your power back and refocus on what you want to create.